Hey guys, Shane Sarns with DroidMotorRace.com. This continues my Matt Guides uh, series that I've been doing here. A lot of you guys have requested that I do some guides uh, using a Mac PC, so that's what I've been doing here, starting with the Nexus 7. Uh, this is the How To Root Guide, and we're using a toolkit by Tech Fanatic 9 to get the job done. It is a simple one click root uh, toolkit, and it works pretty well. So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'll provide the links for the toolkit in the description so you can go there and grab those toolkits. Okay, so we'll go ahead and find the toolkit for root. And it is this uh, Nexus 7 root. And you see that it already includes the ADB and Fastboot scripts here. I'm sorry, the ADB and Fastboot files. So you don't have to go and find those separately. Everything is included here that you need. So we'll just double click this root Nexus 7. That's going to bring up our script. This is a warning, this will do a factory reset on your device, back up your device, and make sure that you are in fast boot mode, and then press enter to unlock your bootloader and root your Nexus 7. So the way that you get to fast boot mode is we're going to power down the device. So we'll just power down the device. And once it's powered off, we'll hold both volume buttons and the power button to get into bootloader mode or fast boot mode. So both volume buttons and the power button. Okay. Once we're in the bootloader mode, we'll just go ahead and plug up our USB cable. And then we can hit enter. Okay, it says, now you have an unlocked bootloader. Press the power button to start the device. So we'll go ahead and start the device. Okay, so there's a few things that it's asking us to do here. We're going to go ahead and hit the power button to power up the device. And then it's asking us to go in and turn on USB debugging. So we'll go ahead and do that as soon as it powers up. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once we're all powered up, we'll go into settings. And about tablet. We'll just click on this build number until it says you are now a developer. And then we'll go back and go into developer options and find USB debugging. Turn that on. Okay, it says once we've done that, we can move forward. So we'll go back to the script. Okay, from the script it says press enter to root. So we'll press enter. It's pushing the super user file. Okay, and then it says ready to install clockwork mod recovery. So we'll go ahead and press one and enter. That's gonna go ahead and flash the recovery. Okay, so from here, uh, we'll finish the root process on the Nexus 7 itself. Okay, so essentially what the script has done is it's unlocked the bootloader. It has pushed super user to the device and it's installed the clockwork mod recovery. So what we'll need to do here is we'll select volume down until we get to recovery mode and then hit power. And that'll boot us into clockwork mod recovery. Once in clockwork mod recovery, we will select install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. We'll go into the zero folder and we'll find the CM super SU uh, version 0.9.4.zip, select that, go to yes, install CM super user, and then that's going to go ahead and root the Nexus 7. When that's all finished, we'll hit go back, and then reboot the system now. You now have a Nexus 7 that is rooted, unlocked, and recovery is installed on your device. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.